In this video, we'll compare three popular royalty-free music services. We'll take a look at the OG of royalty-free music, Epidemic Sound, versus the top contender, Artlist.io, versus a new kid on the block, Sonata. I've used all three of these services, and today I want to talk about what I liked or disliked about each one, and help you decide which one might be best for you. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge, and welcome back to my channel. If you want to use music in your videos and you upload your videos online, you need to license that music. This could be next to impossible with some of the more popular music from major labels and cost you a fortune. So, hate to break it to you, but if you want to share your video with anyone but yourself, you probably can't use Taylor Swift's new song in your video. Luckily for us filmmakers, there's a bunch of services out there that make licensing great music easy and more important of all, affordable. In this video, I want to talk about three very popular choices and hopefully help you decide which one is right for you. We'll compare the cost, music selection, music quality, licensing, and more. First, let's take a look at the cost. As you'd expect, the cheapest option is, of course, the new kit on the block, Sonata. A subscription to this service will cost you just under $10 per month. But if you sign up for an annual subscription, you get two free months, so you only pay $99 for a full year. If you aren't sure whether you want to commit, Sonata does come with a free 30-day trial, so you can try before you buy. Next up is Epidemic Sound. This service will cost you a bit more, coming in at $15 a month, but once again, you get a discount if you sign up for a full year. An annual subscription to Epidemic Sound will cost you $144 per year, so that's like getting about two and a half months for free. And just like Sonata, you can try before you buy with a 30-day free trial. The most expensive option is Artlist.io, coming in at $200 per year. This comes out to just under $17 per month, but that doesn't really matter because monthly subscriptions are not an option. You have to pay for a full year. There's also no free trial. You can listen to the tracks or even download previews, but you can't use any of their music unless you have a subscription. It doesn't sound that great, but don't discount the service just yet. Artlist has one major card up its sleeve, and it's a big one. That might be a huge deciding factor for you. We'll talk about it towards the end of this video, or if you can't wait, skip to this part. Next, let's take a look at music selection and how easy it is to find what you need. Being the biggest player in the game, it doesn't come as a surprise that Epidemic Sound has the biggest library with over 35,000 songs to choose from. All these tracks are fairly well organized, and you can sort them by genre, mood, or album. You can further filter out the music by combining any of these to help you find exactly what you need. Another useful feature on Epidemic Sound is the feature page, where you get recommendations based on your previous downloads, curated collections, and more. But even with all these filters and tools to help you, navigating Epidemic Sound can still feel a bit clunky. The music library at Artlist has over 12,000 tracks, with new music being added every day. This is quite a bit less than Epidemic Sound, but still, 12,000 songs is a lot of music. You can filter out your music by mood, genre, instrument, and what I find is really handy is video theme. So if you're making a travel video, you can just select the travel category, add a few more filters to be more specific, and you're presented with a list of songs to choose from. I find with a smaller selection and much more refined user interface, it doesn't take nearly as long to find what you're looking for. Last, but definitely not least, is Sonata. While it does have the smallest library to choose from, the music quality and the user interface on their website more than makes up for it. This service, at least in my opinion, makes it much easier and faster to find the perfect song for your project. Just like the other sites, you can easily filter out your music, though much more extensively here, or you can select one of the custom curated playlists, curated by real humans, to help you match the theme of your video and find the perfect track for it. And while we're on the subject, let's talk about the quality of music you get with these services. All three of these subscription services come with high quality music that will not disappoint. But if I had to pick one that stands out above the rest, it's definitely Sonata. These guys definitely value quality over quantity. Every artist on this service is vetted by real humans with over 90% rejection rate. And it clearly shows. Most of the music here is top notch. This makes finding the perfect track for a project much easier and faster. And last, let's talk about licensing. Both Epidemic Sound and Sonata have very similar licensing models. You get unlimited downloads, 
and you can license a subscription to one account on a number of social media platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or similar. If, for example, you have a couple of YouTube channels, you can only use the music from either one of these services on one of them. You need another subscription for a second channel. This shouldn't be an issue for most people, but it is worth noting. Also, in order to use the music from Epidemic Sound or Sonata, you need to have an active subscription when your video is published. If you cancel your subscription, everything you publish before canceling is still good, but you can no longer use the music in anything you publish after canceling. Licensing from Artlist is much simpler. And this is a trump card I mentioned at the start of this video. When you subscribe to Artlist, you get an unlimited license. Anything you download is yours to use for pretty much whatever you want, even after you cancel your subscription. You can use it on multiple channels, for commercial projects, corporate videos, and more. The unlimited license covers it all. Even after canceling your subscription, any track you downloaded is yours to use forever. This alone makes Artlist worth it, even if you do have to pay for a full year. Which one of these services is right for you? If you prefer quality over quantity, Sonata is your best option. It's also the least expensive option, and you're least likely to spend all day searching for that perfect song. If you need high quality music for a variety of projects or have a number of different channels on the same platform with its unlimited license, Artlist is hard to beat. If you want the biggest selection of music, no one can compare with Epidemic Sound. And with this service, besides royalty free music, you also get over 90,000 sound effects all included in your subscription. I'll link all three of these services in the video description in case you want to try one of them out. All three are affiliate links, so you get a small percentage if you choose to subscribe at no extra cost to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.